Hello and welcome to the fourth and last video in our short series of bite-sized introductions about mobilising evidence and knowledge, where we will look in more detail at some learning after techniques. Healthcare is a knowledge-based industry. Sharing the know-how of staff, using research evidence and implementing best practice are all business critical. The knowledge mobilisation framework emphasises learning throughout an activity's life cycle, learning before, during and after. It provides a set of tools and techniques that are simple and quick to use, that people can integrate into their daily practice, to encourage continual learning, replication of good practice and avoidance of pitfalls. The tools and techniques facilitate learning and support strategic planning, operational delivery and sustainability. It is a cyclical process. Learning before can lead to learning during and learning after, which then feeds back into learning before. Learning after techniques ask us to consider what did we actually deliver? What did we actually achieve? Did the outcome differ from our goal? What went well? What went not so well? How will we retain knowledge when people move on to new roles? A retrospect has a similar structure to the after action review based around four basic questions, but it is a longer version right at the end of a piece of work. So you can capture the knowledge before the project team disbands. You would usually invite a beneficiary of the knowledge and lessons being learned to participate. Particularly powerful is the final stage, marking a piece of work out of 10 and then considering what would have made it a perfect 10 to identify key learning to pass on to others as knowledge assets that can be accessed at any time or from any location. You can see the benefits of holding a retrospect by viewing the video clips within the retrospect module of the eLearning, which is free to access online from the eLearning for Healthcare platform using the link shown at the foot of this slide. Knowledge harvesting is a technique which is framed around knowledge retention. It's about what happens when valuable members of staff move on. It's not just about staff leaving, but also useful at the end of projects and when secondments end. And it's helpful to use the information gathered for when new people start so that people can get up to speed more quickly. The key is to start early, ask the right questions and decide how to package the knowledge to make it useful for others. It's not about collecting everything, but ensuring that key learning is captured for reuse. The Leavers Toolkit presents a range of knowledge transfer activities that a Lever can adopt to capture and pass on their knowledge and learning. At Buckinghamshire Healthcare NHS Trust, the Library and Knowledge Services Manager delivers a 30 minute session valuing your knowledge legacy on a preparing for retirement workshop for trust staff. The session encourages participants to think about the unique work-related knowledge they have and discuss ways of sharing this with others in their team. Think about a recent inquiry that you have received or about a key priority for your organisation. Could you recommend a learning after tool to help people to use evidence and knowledge more effectively? Let's put that to the test. In scenario one, you receive an inquiry about continued use of the library service from a matron who is transferring to work for the newly formed integrated care system. In addition to explaining how she can continue to access library services, you may also offer a bulletin of the latest evidence to keep her updated and informed and may share with her the tools from the Leavers Toolkit so that she can transfer key learning from her existing role to others in the team. In scenario two, you are asked to source some articles by a project team implementing a new IT system. When you send the articles, you may also send details about the technique of retrospect. So when they reach the end of their project, key lessons and learning can be captured and shared with others doing similar work in future. You may even offer to help facilitate this. In scenario three, a chance conversation whilst a new manager comes to join the library uncovers that they need some additional help to get to grips with working in the NHS, a sector to which they have not worked before. You may share some information about the NHS or offer a bulletin to keep them updated in their field of interest. However, if you have previously used the Leavers Toolkit with the outgoing manager, then there will be valuable knowledge that has been captured and which can be used by the new manager. Knowledge used in this way is often described as rapid onboarding. This is the last video in our series of bite-sized mobilising evidence and knowledge sessions. 
you may want to decide, decide at this stage to go back and revisit the previous videos in this series. Or if for further examples, you might want to visit the Knowledge Management Toolkit and take a look at the Knowledge Management Stories by using the link at the foot of this slide. If you would like further information or to share what you've been doing to mobilise evidence and knowledge in your organisation, please contact members of the Mobilising Evidence and Knowledge Group.